Portmore United. This is how they will line up Tyrone Williams between the sticks again. Okila Howard, Stephen Young, the player to watch. Alvin Osmaz, St. Lucian, retains his place yet again. Jaheen Rose will play in that defensive midfield or centre back role. Akeem Mullins, Alex Marshall, the captain and last time's match winner. Emilia Rousseau, Stephen Barnett, who won the penalty for them last time out. Jamari Morrison and Martin Davis there, number 10 there, head coach Philip Williams. Yeah, Philip Williams, he'll be playing a 3-5-2, which morphed into uh, a 5-3-2 at times. Uh, two attacking wing backs, uh, but have three central defenders, which will give him a lot of stability. There, Roger Williams is back between the six for them. Alwyn Strawn, Javier Brown, the captain, Chavon Smith. Alric Maitland, good to see him back in the thick of things for Vera United. Got goals early, did Maitland. Dylan Clark, the, the central high standout. Lamar Neal, Donovan Clark, or Dane Murray, who is here on loan from Mount Pleasant. Matt Ludford and Kemar Bushebek for their leading goal scorer with nine. Linval Dixon, of course, the man with the reins. Season for Dean Andre Thomas. Thomas, it finishes at Vera United 1, Portmore United 0. So full match highlights and Veer driving forward into the area. Wide of the upright, that was Javon Smith getting into the area early. They had a couple moments in the first 10 to 15 minutes did Veer United before Portmore came into the own. That was Kev Kemar Bushy Beckford with a shot from distance. Badly skewed. Then Emilia Rousseau on the edge of the area getting this chance and Roger Williams making himself big. And Alex Marshall, well, tackled up there, yeah, and Roger Williams thwarting the danger. Portmore continued to come forward, and Stephen, William, Stephen Young looking to get his head on that, but again Roger Williams making himself big. Rousseau playing this one out wide to Martin Davis, the first delivery not the best, but look at this afterwards from Davis and Stephen Barnett should have at least asked some questions of Roger Williams but he didn't Portmore were still in the ascendancy and they continue to pile on the pressure in the first half Okila Howard and that opportunity from the wide right area going for goal but skewing it wide disappointing then Portmore in the second half Siobhan Walsh coming on as a substitute their leading goal scorer, dinking that one in. And again, Stephen Barnett was on the end of it, but leaning back and hitting it over the top. Maybe a lack of confidence for the Portmore number 24. Tej Bryan got away from Roger Williams, but not away from Matt Ludford or Donovan Clark. Today's man of the match. Clark blocking on the second occasion. Solid game for their number 66 in Donovan Clark. Both himself and Roger Williams, excellent performances. Lorenzo Lewin, this is what he was brought on to do, be direct in the wide areas. This was an excellent chance for Lamar Neal. And when he didn't hit the target, you just wondered to yourself if it wasn't going to be that afternoon for Vier United or Linville Rudy Dixon. He was so frustrated, should have hit it on the volley, went on the half volley. And the spin of the ball just taking it away. Philip Williams not happy with the Portmore performance. And yet it would get worse for him. Look at that clearance from Roger Williams. Not sure about the defending from Portmore. Veer, they were sure that they were going to find the back of the net. And it was Dean Andre Thomas from close range for his second of the season. His second in a Veer United shirt as well after his transfer from Double Holding. And there was no missing that. Total exposed Tyrone Williams. Veer leaving it late. 90 plus 2 and a big 3 point for them takes them to 26 points in the table. Rodolph Austin helping out on the bench as the assistant coach. Frustration for Portmore. They remain on 45 points and at this point in third position, fear well, the 1-0 win.
Just two on target from six attempts for Veer. Portmore, they were busy in the attacking third, but nothing to show. Three on target from 12. Four yellow cards shown from Veer, for, to Veer United. And yeah, Andrew Hayden had a, a pretty busy one as they battled hard in the middle of the park, Veer United, leaving it late. Three saves as well for Roger Williams. They had less of the corners, majority of them for Portmore with seven, who had the possession as well, but couldn't find a goal today at the Jackson Sports Complex. It's Veer United 1, Portmore United 0. Yeah, Dwight Jeremiah has our man of the match. Donovan, first let me congratulate you on the win today. This is your first goal and win against Portmore in five meetings. How does it feel? Well, it's a great feeling, you know. Come out here and get this job done because we have a aim to end the season strong even though we can make it to the top six. And in terms of your defensive work today, did it turn out a lot easier than you had expected coming up against Portmore because you did a very good job keeping them quiet? No, it wasn't easy because of the condition as well. Just come out here and coach tell me that once I come on my A game, yeah. What about that? Your midfielders couldn't find that defence fitting pass. What about that pass from your goalkeeper to Dean Archie Thomas? Well, they've been working on that at training, so it was, it was expected. Well, you've created a hub set today. Good game from you. All the best. Yeah, thank yeah. you. There you have it.